So hi and welcome back and I'm just testing out a new camera I've got. I had to get another one that, that could match up with the other camera I have, the other Sony I had. And um, I'm just testing out on this video. It's mainly going to be used um, for when I'm doing like tracking things, that sort of thing, when I'm, when I'm panning and that sort of thing, when people are moving. It's got like an eye track on it. I'm, I'm currently in my eye at the moment. There's a tiny little dot on, you can see on the screen that follows uh, my eye around to keep the camera in focus. Anyway, so this video is about me selling all of my expired film. There's 13 rolls. They're now on eBay and there is a reason for this. And the reason I'm doing it is I want to be able to start doing my own color development, but I didn't consider it a good idea to buy the chemistry and then use it on old rolls of films when you don't know what the actual quality of them is gonna be like. So I thought if I sell those, I can use that money either A, to buy some some more film, color film, or to buy the, the C41 chemistry. Now, there's a kind of a caveat here because I discovered a way, I think you could remove Remjet from the back of the Kodak Vision film. And you're gonna see now me attempt to do that and uh, to see if it actually worked. Okay, so this is what a disaster is gonna look like. So the water has been quite heated quite a lot. I've dropped in the magic ingredient and it's a particular ingredient that's pretty much safe for me to put my hands in with anyway. I'm just gonna check the water. That's quite warm. So let's just put this in and see if it will do what I've been told it will do. <laughs> yep, it's coming off. The water's too hot. Let me cool it down a bit. So I'll put some more cold water in there. <laughs> Science in the kitchen. So uh, let's get the roll of the piece of film. I'll give it a clean. And there you go. It's coming off. It's come off completely. Look at that. So that means I should be able to do my own developing at home. Ta da! Look at that. And that come off really, really, really easily. So, do you know what the secret ingredient was? Baking soda. <laughs> so it's basically a teaspoon of baking soda in warm water and then um, just literally rub it down and the layer comes off. I've just tested it against the light and it's transparent so you can actually see through it. You won't be able to see it in this shot, but well, I've just held it up to the light a second ago. That's what I got. So yeah, that's completely transparent now, which is really wonderful. Anyway, so let the fun commence. Okay, so it worked and uh, I can now remove the Remjet from the back of uh, the Kodak Vision film. So basically I can buy the, the film, remove the Remjet, dry the film, recanister it, and then I've got a, a, a film that I can develop in C41. So it does what I want it to do. So baking soda is the way.